Domestic Automation keeps coming out with new plug-and-play attachments for their popular WLED boards, with the most recent being a new darkness sensor. And in today's quick video, I'll show you how easy it is to get this up and running. To get started, just like I would with their button or motion sensor, I'll be connecting the main unit to the darkness module with any size RJ12 6P 6C straight cable. And as always, I'll leave links to everything in the description in case you wanted to take a closer look. Now once connected, make sure to flip that little white switch towards whatever side you went with, and in this particular example, I have it pushed over to 13. For lights, I'll be using some 5V WS2812B LEDs, and I'll plug them right into the already attached JST clips that these boards come with. Then I'll plug in my 5V 10 amp power supply to the module right here. Once you have WLED set up and running, go into Configure, LED Preferences, and scroll down until you get to where it says Button 0 GPIO. Now if you remember, we went with side 13, so let's put 13 in this field, and then the drop down next to it, make sure switch is selected. When that's done, go ahead and hit save at the top for the changes to take effect. Now if you have no idea what WLED is, first check out a video I already did on this product that'll have you up and running in 45 seconds. Then all that's left to do is play around with the brightness knob on the module to adjust how dark you want it to get before the lights turn on. And the closer you get to 100 means the darker the room has to be before things are triggered. Now for your setup, let's say you want the sensor to be located in a different area. I have a 20 foot cable here that I can quickly swap out, and I have the dial set to about 20 which is pretty sensitive, and you can see that the shadow of my hand makes it dark enough to trigger the lights to turn on. Next I'll quickly go over how you can set it to turn on with different color or animations. For this I'll go into effects and I personally like the color twinkle one. I'll go back into the color tab and one of my favorite palettes to choose from is the beach. I'll turn the lights on so I can see how it looks. From here go to the preset tab on the bottom right and click the plus preset option. Give it a name and hit save. This is now listed as preset number 3. Then go into configure, time and macros, scroll down to where it says button 0, and in the first field we're going to put our preset number 3 and then hit save. And just like that, when it's dark enough to trigger the lights, our color twinkle animation with the beach colors is now displayed. This would be super fun to set up in my kids' bedroom so that when the main lights turn off at night and it's time for bed, these soft twinkly lights would automatically turn on and act as a night light for them. So I just got done making a video that you can check out on how to set up an epic ambulight system using any lights connected to WLED. The results were absolutely incredible and it was so fun to put together. And since all the lights are already there, I swapped everything out for this controller and the sensor to give you another idea of how this could be used. Imagine that it's nighttime and you're about to start a movie. You dim or turn off the main lights in your living room or media area and magically all your accent lighting automatically turns on to whatever color or animation and brightness that you want. Now, like always, I had way too much fun playing around with this, and big shout out to Domestic Automation for continuing to come up with options for people out there who want the benefit of using addressable LED strips, but with the convenience of a plug-and-play setup. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I hope you have a blessed day.